September 11, 2001. The day many Americans remember as being the day two airplanes crashed into the World Trade Center. Now, imagine this from the point of view of those responsible for the planes, the air traffic controllers. Hold on just a moment, we got an explosion inside. That... Okay. It is possible incidents such as September 11 that make stress the major concern for air traffic controllers. When you fly, most people don't think about who makes up the flight plans, who gets them to where they are going to, or how they do it. Who makes sure that planes don't accidentally intersect while flying? Who makes sure that the planes are flying at the proper altitude? Who guides the planes into the airport so that there aren't complications during landing or takeoff? The answer to all of these questions is simple. The people that do these jobs are called air traffic controllers. Air traffic controllers are, quite possibly, in possession of one of the most stressful jobs in the world. They are in charge of all the jobs previously mentioned, and more. Stress is always high in the world of an air traffic controller. Many important decisions rest on their shoulders, many of which need to be made in a matter of seconds. But why be an air traffic controller? What benefits are offered to, me, to make people even want to consider a job that is so stressful on the psyche? One of the primary reasons that more people are becoming air traffic controllers is that there is a higher demand developing for the job. There are also some good benefits to becoming an air traffic controller. Overtime is always compensated with pay or equal time off. And as air, tra air control towers are always open 24 hours a day, this is always a possibility. Most air traffic controllers work an average 40 hour work week. Another perk is being able to work with modern technology, including radar systems. And overall the job itself is very important. Possibly the biggest perk though is the paycheck. The median income for an air traffic controller last year was $102,320. In reality, air traffic controllers do much more than control air traffic. Their jobs include coordinating the traffic around the airport and all over the country. They coordinate air maps with flight schedules and other airports all over the country to make sure that the flights don't intersect. They organize the airflow of planes coming in and leaving the airport as well making sure that the runways are clear for landing, and, if they aren't, then guiding the planes into a waiting loop as they wait for the runways to clear. Air traffic controllers are also the people in charge of informing the pilots of local weather conditions, from when they take off, through the flight, as well as the conditions of the place that they are to arrive at. An alternative to working in this area of the job is to watch the radar in the bottom part of the air traffic controller tower. The people who work this job keep track of the planes that come in and out of the airport and make sure that no scheduled planes come in unnoticed. It can definitely be argued that a drawback to being an air traffic controller is the notorious stress that is ever present. Stress comes from many different sources. The operative aspects of their job are a main source of stress, as well as when traffic load peaks, the pressure under time, and resolving conflicts in the application of rules. Sometimes, there are limitations on the amount or reliability of equipment. Shifting schedules are also a source of stress, as well as role conflicts, unfavorable work conditions, and a lack of control over their work. Being constantly on guard and alert is also a source of stress for some people. Air traffic controllers require many specific qualities, including the ability to detect movement, be able to recognize patterns, prioritizing, and having the ability to filter verbally and visually. They must also be able to code and decode, possess inductive and deductive reasoning, have a great short and long-term memory, and be good at mathematical and probabilistic reasoning. Of course, with such large amounts of stress, it's natural that consequences would arise. Many consequences of stress may differ widely in relation to factors such as age, lifestyle, work experience, personality traits, attitude, motivation, and physical or mental health. But the majority of consequences may be triggers to long-term stress-related symptoms. These may include headaches, chronic fatigue, heartburn, indigestion, hypertension, chest pain, coronary heart disease, 
diabetes, and peptic ulcers. We have seen that the life of an air traffic controller is not an easy one, and that it is not uncommon for the stress of life to follow into the home and personal life. Stress can affect air traffic controllers in many different ways, but there is no doubt that the job itself is important, and, because of this, we look forward to a new, hard-working generation of air traffic controllers in the near future. Oh, my God.